Okay, this video will be the last one for section 7.5, multiple angles and product to some formulas. I've been throwing a lot of formulas at you, and we are almost done. So, occasionally, it's useful to reverse the procedure and write the sum of a trig functions as a product. This can be accomplished with the following sum to product formulas. So here on the left, we have the sum of two things, or difference. Uh, sine of an angle plus the sine of a different angle. Sine of an angle minus the sine of a different angle. Cos of an angle plus the cos of a different angle. And cos of an angle minus the cos of a different angle with the u's and v's. And what we turn them into are here on the right. You can see a lot of them are pretty similar. Everything leads with a 2. The very last one has a negative 2. And then it's the sine of something, cos of something, cos of something, sine of something, cos, cos, or sine, sine. And what's going on in the parentheses is either half of the sum, we add them together and divide by 2, or half of the difference, u minus v over 2. And that's all we see in all of these parentheses. So, you know, we just we figure out what format we fit, what pattern, and replace it with something else. So let's see here. Maybe I'll even uh, make a copy of these. Uh, paste. So let's see what we have here. We have the cos plus the cos. Cos of an angle plus the cos of a different angle. So here's our cos plus cos format, and it's going to turn into this. So we're going to have 2 times the cosine of something. And let me make that a little taller. So 2 cos to something times the cos of something else. And in each of those parentheses, it is a divide by 2. In the first set of parentheses, we sum the two angles up above. So it's going to be 195 plus 105, which is 300. And in the second uh, set of parentheses, it's the difference, u minus v. 195 minus 105 is 90. So I can put these formulas away. And let's see what we have. 2 times the cos of half of 300 is 150. That's on the unit circle. Times the cosine of 90 divided by 2 is 45. That is also on the unit circle. So let's see. We're going to have a 2. And let me put it over 1. Because the cos of 150 is negative root 3 over 2. The cosine of 45 is root 2 over 2. And then we multiply straight across. Uh, it's going to be a negative for sure. Positive, negative, positive will be negative. And then 2 times root 3 times root 2. Root 2 times uh, root 3 is root 6. 2 times the root of 6 over 1 times 2 times 2 is 4. And here we could reduce. That would become a 1 half, or our root 6 over 2, negative. Now let's see here in example 10. Uh, now it's a different, uh, we have a sum, but now it's sine sine. So here's our formulas. Oh, and the one we need is right on top there. Sine of something plus sine of something. So this is going to become 2 sine of something in parentheses times the cos of something going on in these parentheses. And in the first set of parentheses, we sum the angles. So 5x plus 3x is 8x. In the next one, we subtract them, u minus v, or 5x minus 3x is 2x. So let's clean this up a little bit. It's going to be 2 times the sine of 8x divided by 2 is 4x times the cos of x. And so now we can actually solve it. We have, I forgot here from the very beginning, you know, this is all equal to 0. So that's equal to 0, equal to 0. What do we do when we have something multiplied that is equal to 0? Well, we set each factor equal to 0. And what I could do right off the bat is divide both sides by 2. So this 2 is gone. 0 divided by 2 is still 0.
So now we have two factors. The sine of 4x is our first factor, and the cos of x is our second factor. And then we'll set each of those factors independently equal to 0. So first let's look at the sine of 4x. The sine of 4x is equal to 0. Uh, so that says, uh, when does sine equal 0? Uh, well, there's three times. Um, well, no, just two times. At 0 and at pi. So sine is equal to 0 at 0 and at pi radians. And it's not just x we're setting equal to that, it's 4x. So 4x equals 0 means x equals 0. That's a solution. And here we would divide by 4 and get x equals a quarter pi. So that is our second solution. Oh, and I guess we should do, you know, over the uh, entire unit circle, um, it would also occur at 0, at pi, and again at 2 pi, which is the same as 0. But here we are dividing by that 4. So we'd have 4x equals 2 pi, divide by 4, and you'd get x equals pi over 2. So there is another solution, and that solution does fall on between 0 and 2 pi. Uh, our next term is going to be a little easier. Where does cosine of x equal 0? Well, that happens at the uh, pi over 2, the positive y-axis, and at 3 pi over 2, the negative y-axis. And you know we do have a repeater. If we forgot to grab this uh, this solution out of the, the first term, we would have found it here in the second term also. So here's a couple practice problems. Uh, the first one, sine of a sum. In the next one, it is the uh, sum of two sines. So pause the video, try those out, and then check your answers. So in the first one, we have the sine of a sum of two angles. And we're going to turn that into a product. It's going to be 2 times the sine of something times the cos of something else. And what are those somethings? Uh, first here with the sine, we add our angles together. The sum is 90. In the next set of parentheses, we subtract them. 75 minus 15 is 60. So we're going to have 2 times the sine of 45 degrees times the cosine of 30 degrees, which are all on the unit circle. So it's going to be 2 times the sine of 45 is root 2 over 2. The cosine of 30 is root 3 over 2. Uh, so let's see here. We can multiply straight across. 2 times root 3 times root 2 are 2 roots of 6, all over 4. And we could reduce this down to a half, so we're going to have root 6 over 2. And in the next one here, find all solutions. We do have this set equal to 0. So if we look at the sine of a sum, we can turn that into a product. It's going to be 2 sine of something cos of something. Um, and for the sine sine, put that right down there. So we have the sine of the sum. So in our first set of parentheses, the sine of our quantity up there is going to be u plus v, and then we divide by 2. So when we add these together, we get 8x, and 8x divided by 2 is 4x. And then in the next set of parentheses, we subtract the two angles and divide by 2. So 6x minus 2x is 4x, divided by 2 is 2x. And that is equal to 0. Oops. So let's see. We have two uh, factors multiplied, set equal to 0. I'm going to divide out the 2 right now. Why not? So this is gone. And then we set the sine of 4x equal to 0. Well, where does sine equal 0? At 0 pi and 2 pi. So we're going to have 4x equal to 0 pi. 
4x equal to pi and 4x equal to 2 pi. And then we divide by 4. So here we'll have x equals 0. Next we divide by 4 and get x equals a quarter pi. Divide by 4, 2 fourths is a half, or pi over 2. So let me come back up here to write those 0, a quarter pi, and a half pi. Now we work on the second term. Set the cos of 2x equal to 0. Well, where does cosine equal 0? That happens at half pi and 3 halves pi. So we set 2x equal to a half pi and 2x equal to 3 halves pi. To get rid of the 2, we can divide by 2 or multiply by a half. So here we're going to have x equals pi over 4. And those will cancel. x equals 3 pi over 4. So we did have another repeater. If I add these to the list up here, the pi over 4 is already taken. And then the 3 quarter pi joins the solution list. Uh, of these last two practice problems, let's skip number 104. Now uh, we've been working hard enough here. Let's just do that first one, the cos of a sum. And let's see what we have. A cos plus a cos. So cos plus cos is 2 uh, cos. And this is going to be half of the sum. Add them up and get 180 times the cos of half the difference. Subtract those and you get a 60. So, uh, oops, 2 cos of, that's a 90 degree angle, times the cos of 60 divided by 2 is 30. So let's see, 2, our cosine of 90 degrees is 0. Ooh. And it doesn't matter here, but cos of 30 is root 3 over 2. And it doesn't matter because 0 times these terms is equal to 0. Uh, last homework uh, problems for the section 7.5, number 75 to 78, and number 90 on page 583.